hey everyone and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to create the ken burns effect in CapCut. let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time in CapCut, i want you to click the sign up option from here just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go in CapCut, the Ken Burns effect is a type of panning and zooming effect applied to still images or video clips giving them motion and a cinematic feel. For us to be able to create it, I want you to click the create a new project if you want to begin your work and start from scratch. But if you have already a project already in place, just click on it to begin editing your work. Now, this Ken Burns effect is often used in documentaries and presentations to add visual interest to static images, making them appear more dynamic by slowly zooming in or out or panning across the frame. All right, so how we can do it? First of all, you need to import the video or any still images that you want to take effect within the Ken Burns. So what I'm going to do is add a new layer or add a new footage from here. Let's say, for example, um, let's look for maybe this one right here i'm gonna drag this kind of uh, clip young couple kissing so i'm gonna minimize the uh, timeline so we can drag this here so the first if the first uh thing that we need to do is to create a zooming effect for us to do that we need to add a keyframe so at the very beginning we're going to add the keyframe here on the uh, top right corner. So we have a separate video on how to add keyframes that you might want to check in our channel. So let's click on this add a keyframe. All right. And then the next thing is we're going to zoom this out from all the way to the end, which is at this point, I'm going to zoom this out. All right, gonna zoom this out for you guys and then add a keyframe. You see, it has already been added the keyframe. Now, the next thing is we're gonna pan this out by moving this around probably here. I make this one again by adding another keyframe on top. So, if we hover down from the very beginning, we will see what we can got here. Click this. Alright, so that's one way. Now, we can start to add another keyframe for that if you are not satisfied. Alright, so what we're going to do is... From here, we can maybe move it around here and add another keyframe for that. So if you scrub it all the way from the very beginning, what we'll have is going to be having this kind of panning effect, which is called the famous Ken Burns effect. It's very simple. And of course, not only you can add that to a video, you can also add it to a, uh, for example, an image here. I'm gonna add something here, a keyframe, and then I'm gonna zoom this out. Add a keyframe and then add another one. Just so and so. We're gonna add a keyframe for that. So if you play that, we were able to create a Ken Burns effect from the still photos, all right? Now, once you are satisfied with the edits, you might want to click the export button on the top right corner to save or share your video. And of course, the Ken Burns effect is very easy thing uh, to do. Once you have successfully added the Ken Burns effect to your image or video in CapCut, giving it a smooth, dynamic motion that adds cinematic flair to your project. We normally use this if you are creating um, an added feel to our videos here at Dplast YouTube channel. And basically, that's how it's done. It's very easy, really. You just have to follow this video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next one.